What's up guys? In this video I wanted to talk about speed ramping in Final Cut Pro 10. Um, there's a few ways you can do it but I found this way to be a lot more seamless and not so abrupt. So I have a clip here that I imported in, it's just a drone footage of uh, some a skyline as you can see here so it's just pulling out and it's just revealing the whole skyline pretty cool shot so a lot of people I see do this they will have it slow and then say they want to speed it up right there command B cuts that then they'll just Go over here to the time and speed it up by two times, four times, whatever. So it'll just look like this. Be nice and slow. And then instantly takes off. I mean, that does look okay, but there's a better way to go about it. So let me undo this. So say you wanted to speed up right there. Highlight your clip, and then instead of Command B for cutting it, you push Shift B, and that cuts it into do two different clips here where you could adjust the time on each one. So say this one's 100%, we'll leave that at 100%, so it'll be slow like this. Then right here, we can bump this up to super fast. So we will go maybe 300. Bump that up to 300. And all I did was I went down here. Instead of using these, I went to custom. And you could type in a custom speed uh, rate that you want to. So I'm going to type in 300 and see how that works. Boom. So let's see what that looks like. Nice and slow and then slowly ramps up into that see it's not so abrupt and then if you wanted to say you want it to speed up right here but then you want it to slow it back down right here highlight it like that press shift B again and then it clips it again into two different speed that you can adjust right there so we'll put this one back to a hundred So let's see what that looks with it at 100%, then 300, and then back to 100. So this is 100. It's going to slowly ramp up 300, and then slowly back down to 100. So yeah, that's how I speed ramp in Final Cut Pro 10. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Uh, be sure to subscribe. And yeah, you can use these type of effects in any video. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be in just drone footage. So give it a shot in your edit, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.